welcome back to week two of our series, Promise. I'm Miss Kim, the Director of Ministries here at Caw Prairie Community Church in Lenexa, Kansas. And just like the title of our series says, we are talking about God's promises this month. Have you ever seen a rainbow? I'm sure that you have. I have. I love to see rainbows in the sky. They're such an amazing thing that's just so simple and it happens when water and sunlight mix and the colors that are out there in our world show really brightly and sometimes we can see a rainbow from one side to the other and sometimes we can see a double rainbow like two rainbows in a row and that is something really really special well in the bible God used a rainbow to send a promise to a friend of his, a guy that he knew uh, that, that loved him and that was doing something he asked him to do. So we are going to learn about this special rainbow today. But before we do that, I want us to get up and warm up and sing and dance to this song. <laughs> Are you ready and warmed up now? I hope so. So we usually see rainbows in the sky after it rains, okay? The clouds in the sky help the water, um, the colors be scattered out through the water droplets and the reflection, and there's all sorts of sciencey things that happen with that. Um, but the colors of the rainbow can also help us pray. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a, you know, an easy way to pray here that might remember us for something. So colors of the rainbow, if you can see my table here, we have Roy G. Biv is how you would learn it in school. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which we're gonna represent with just one purple color. So red, okay, we are going to do a red line, red. Red, when we pray, we wanna ask God to show mercy for something that we said or did that was unkind. We don't want to do things that are unkind, but sometimes we do, and we need to ask God to show us mercy and give us forgiveness for that. So, red. Next is orange. Okay, we're gonna do orange. 
orange, beautiful, beautiful orange. Oh, I love it. We want to pray for God to help you show mercy to someone who has been unkind to you. I'm sure we've all had times where people have been unkind to us. And just like God shows us mercy, we need to show them mercy as well. Yellow is next. And with yellow, oh, so pretty yellow. So beautiful. We want to ask God to show mercy for something that we have done to harm something in the world God created. Sometimes we maybe throw our trash on the ground outside and we don't pick it up or sometimes we're wasteful and then that creates more trash and that's not great for the earth that God created and so we want to make sure we take care of this beautiful place that he's given us to live. Green is next. Ooh, I like green. Green is one of my favorite colors. Green. We want to pray for God to help you take care of God's creation. So we want to ask God to forgive us if we've done something bad to his creation or wrong, but we also want to ask him to help us take care of his creation. You might want to plant a tree or some flowers or protect the, you know, water them. Um, you could also plant special flowers for bees so the bees can help um, pollinate the flowers and the, the vegetables and the trees and everything that, that we need. So that is an option. Or maybe you could pick up trash. You could volunteer to pick up trash. There's lots of ways we can help take care of God's creation. Next we have blue. Oh, wonderful. Blue, we're going to ask God to show you how much you are loved when you are feeling down or blue get it so sometimes we might feel sad and we just want God to come to us and just help us feel loved because you are loved and sometimes we need that reminder though so you can ask God to show you that and finally this is purple and we want to thank God for the promise of his mercy so we know that he has mercy on us and we learned that last week but we want to thank him for that because that's really special all right, guys, so we've got our rainbow here, but we want to hear the story for today. And you all know who's going to tell us the story. So let's hear from Carl. Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi, Cassie. Hey, Carl. What are you up to? Um, just sitting here with you, ready to talk about the Bible and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Okay, do you want me to ask what you've been up to? Thought you'd never ask. Check this out. Whoa, are those yours? Well, they are now. What do you mean? I mean, they are now. I've been collecting for the past week. Collecting cookies? From where? Well, get this. Every day when I walk out past the desk out front, there's a cookie sitting there just waiting to be eaten. So I take it. You take it every day? Yeah, that's the crazy part. Every day I walk by his desk, there's a cookie. And I take it, then boom, the next morning, there's a cookie. It's like magic. It's like the cookies are being sent from heaven as a gift from God. Oh no. What? What's wrong? Did I say something wrong? Well, no. What? What do you mean no? Is there something in my teeth? No. Do I stink? No. Do you stink? What? No. Then what is it? Well, those magic cookies you've been taking, they belong to Kenzie. She's the receptionist. No way! They've just been sitting there every day on the- Desk? Where people sit and work? No. That's impossible. Really? Have you talked to Kenzie lately? Sure. Not for the past few days, though. Every time I see her, she seems to be really upset because someone in the office keeps taking her snacks. What kind of snacks? I think she said cookies. It's a terrible thing. I mean, who would be that mean to steal someone's cookies? Especially in the office. I mean, the nerve! To walk up to someone's desk and just steal their cookie? <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. Wait. There it is. Oh no. Yep. I've done something terrible. Yep. Cassie, I don't think you understand. Those magic cookies weren't actually magic. You don't say. 
I've been taking Kenzie's cookies. It all makes sense now. Oh no. It's all right. I'm sure she'll understand. <sighs> I don't think so. She won't. This is terrible. What have I done? It's just a misunderstanding. It's really not a big deal. Not a big deal? I've been stealing. You hear that? Stealing. I know, Carl, but it's gonna be all right. No, it won't. I'll have to leave. Sell everything I have and move to a deserted island. I'll have to change my name to something like uh, Theodore Monocle and talk like this. That's it. Oh, man. What about God? What about God? Well, I've been stealing. The Bible says that stealing is a sin. And I've been stealing, which is a sin. All right, Carl, you need to calm down. You need to just relax for a second. I am calm. Man, I'm kind of lightheaded. Carl, are you okay? I think so. I don't feel so good though. I think I'm in big trouble, Cassie. I understand, but you really need to not worry. You know why? Why? Because this is all a dream? No, but the God we serve is a God of mercy. And mercy is forgiving someone even though they've done something wrong and may not deserve forgiveness. Do you remember Noah? Yeah, the guy with the big boat. Pretty cool story. Yep, Noah and his family were cooped up on that big boat with all the animals for 40 days and 40 nights. But after the water went back down and the flood was over, God told Noah some pretty cool things. What did God tell him? God said there wouldn't be a flood like that ever again. God promised to show humans mercy, and he gave us a way to remember that. Have you ever seen a rainbow, Carl? Does a chicken wish it could fly? Of course I have! You're telling me a rainbow is like some sort of secret code promise? You could look at it that way. God sent us a rainbow to remind us of a promise, that God would love us and show us mercy. God promised us mercy. Hmm, that's pretty cool. That is cool. It's also our big idea. <laughs> Today's big idea is God promised us mercy. So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. God promised us mercy. Woohoo! All right, everyone. That's pretty cool. Mercy. I'm so glad we learned about no today. But now I gotta go tell Kenzie that I'm the one that was taking her cookies. Um. What? I may have already told her. Oh, mercy. See you next week. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Oh, Carl, thank you for sharing that merciful story with us today. Okay, guys, once again, our Bible story this week comes from the book of Genesis, which is the very first book of the Bible. So in your Bibles, it's going to be the very first book, Genesis. And last week, we learned how God created the world, and he created humans, uh, including Adam and Eve, and they disobeyed God, and they had to leave the paradise God created for them, but he also gave them a way to make it right. He keeps his promises and he is making a way for us to be connected with him. He shows us mercy. So next though, the story we're learning about today is gonna, I'm gonna have some puppets here. So you're, I'm gonna have to see how many hands I have here, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it through. So we have a story about Noah and Noah was a man who really, really loved God. And after Adam and Eve sinned, there was lots of things happened that weren't great, right? Um, but Noah loved God and God saw that and knew that. And so he said, Noah, I need you to build an ark. So his family, so we're gonna, this is his family, all right? Do, 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 family and the animals. I'm gonna get this little chicken peep guy here. So we got Noah and the animals and the family. Oh no, okay, family. And they're on the ark, swaying on the ark. There's a flood, everything's been destroyed. All the people have been destroyed except for the people and the animals in the ark. And they're floating along and it rained for a long time, 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine how much water that is? That's a lot of water. So after the 40 days and 40 nights though, Noah needed to know if there was dry land, so he sent a dove. Can you see the little dove here in Noah's hand? The dove flew around and around searching for dry land, and then Noah sent it, it came back to Noah, nothing, okay? Noah sent it out a few more times until finally the dove, it never came back. 
The dove was gone. It never came back, which was a sign to Noah that there was dry land there. Noah, his family, oh, gotta get the family again here, okay. Noah and the family, oh, okay, Noah, there we go. And the animals, oh, can we get everybody, everybody in there? Oh, okay, Noah, the family, and the animals, they built an ark to God to thank God for keeping them safe and for keeping his promise to them that there would be dry land and that there would be, they would be safe. Now, they built that for God, but God did something cooler. He put a rainbow in the sky, and that was the promise to Noah and his family that he would never flood the earth like that again. So, we are going to get back to our big idea, which Carl has already told us, but we want to go through it one more time. All right, are you ready? You know what we do. What do we do when we want to do the, the big idea? Drum roll. That's right. Okay, let me put my rainbow down. Let's drum roll. So drum roll wherever you are. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Big idea. God promised us mercy. God promised us mercy. And we still have that mercy today. Whenever we see a rainbow, okay, whenever we see a rainbow, we are reminded that God promised us mercy. But there's another side to mercy as well. If God promised us mercy, we need to make sure that we show mercy to other people. And that is kind of hard sometimes, all right? But it's really important that because God does that for us, he needs us to do it for other people. It doesn't feel good to walk around and, and be mean and, and angry at people all the time. It's important to let your mercy come through for others. It's important for you and it's important for them. Okay, I want you to think about, before we end, I do want you to think about someone that you can show mercy to. It might be the person sitting next to you. Maybe you're sitting next to your sibling or your friend or your parents or whoever you live with. Um, it might be your teacher. Um, it might be a stranger. I don't know. Someone that you, maybe you weren't so, so kind to and you need to be and God needs you to show mercy. So I want you to think about that. And I, I encourage you and I would pray that you would act on showing mercy to them. Okay, everybody, here we are at the end again. As always, stay connected with us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, watch our YouTube channel, get on our website, make sure you're getting our emails, uh, call us, come up to Open Gym, come to Morning Worship, whatever it is to get connected with us. We have so many options and opportunities and fun things going on. We don't want you to miss out, so be sure you're staying connected with us. Um, and then before we leave, let's go ahead and review our monthly memory verse. This is from Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Let's go ahead and check out that sign language video to learn it. Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Great job, everybody. All right, Mem memorizing scripture is really important. It's a great way to stay connected with God. Before we leave today, let's go ahead and pray. All right, hi God. Thank you for making everything and for promising to show us mercy. Every time we see a rainbow in the sky, we remember how much love you love us. Help us remember to love and show mercy to others just like you do. All right, everybody, I will see you next week, same time, same channel, and I hope that you enjoy your week and you see a rainbow. That would be excellent. <laughs> see you later, bye.